So I hope from the previous lecture, guys, you adjusted your workspace so you can see the whole clip here with the time frame curve. So what is this curve all about? If you look at the line here, this is the curve. It looks linear now, but actually it is a curve. And all these white dots are keyframes and they are placed exactly where you placed the speed points. So what can you do here? Actually, you can just click on a keyframe and start moving it around. Notice what's happening here. When you move a keyframe in between two keyframes, the speed on the left and right and the timing on the left and right is going to change. Notice? So depending if you're moving it left or right or up or down. If you move it down, for example, you will notice that when it, the graph is going down, this is reverse. When the graph is going up, the speed is going to increase. Let's take this one and put it down just for fun. Adjust this one over here. Okay, I'm just playing with the graph, but actually I don't think I got something interesting, but something funny. Here you are, it's gonna go reverse, and then it's gonna go up, and then here you are, it's gonna come back. Now, do you notice that the change of frames per second is very abrupt over here? You could smooth it. You select the keyframe and click on the icon on the left, which looks like a curve with a dot inside. And then you notice it has created some handles on the left and right. This will help you to create a better curve if you want to. Okay, or remove it completely. Here you are. So now what's supposed to happen is it's going to be a smooth transition or a smooth curve if you like. In our case, it's not very visible. You can do that to any frame you like and curve it and adjust the curve the way you would like. Take it up or down to adjust the speed. And let's do it for the last one here. And we just adjust the curve. Okay, this one doesn't have space because this one is to the extreme. So you can come over and play with them. This is the keyframe navigator. On the left, it goes to the previous keyframe. Okay, on the right, it will go to the next keyframe. You can come over here and create a new keyframe if you like by clicking on the diamond. And now you have a new keyframe that you can adjust, you can curve if you like. Okay, here you are, something like this. If you want to delete a keyframe, you can select it and press the delete key. It is removed. So actually, this is all about the graph. It's up to you now to decide how you want your video to go and how you want to play with the speeds and how you want to have, you know, the best animation possible for your video. Actually, you are really animating. Now, working with the retime frame is cool, but not that cool because retime speed is much interesting and much more visually representative of what's happening to the video. And this is what we are going to see in the next lecture.